I'm Chris Knight, and today we're going to be taking a look at ways of powering your portable Arduino projects. Particularly, we're going to be looking at uh, these off-the-shelf, generic, 5-volt, uh, 3 3-volt uh, 3 power supplies that use the ubiquitous 18650 uh, lithium-ion cell uh, as their power source. They are uh, the batteries are removable, allowing for easy swapping. They have charge ports on the back so that you can uh, charge them in place inside of something you've assembled. And then they've got uh, multiple connectors along the side for 5 volt and, or 5 volt and 3.3 volt and then a USB power out. Uh, so you can actually just kind of uh, throw a couple of batteries in one of these, put a housing around it, and you've got your own uh, little portable USB battery pack. But in this case, I've been using these uh, to power more dedicated electronics projects, and I've had mixed results. Um, I've got a blog post about this I wrote a couple of years ago uh, called The Cheap Parts Paradox, and it's about the, uh, the amount of time that you can lose when you buy cheap parts versus uh, tried and true parts and have to spend a whole lot of time shoehorning them in and getting them to work. And since I've moved to New Zealand, I have um, <laughs> had to wrestle with this problem a lot more than I used to uh, once I realized how much time I could waste on parts I picked up off Amazon or eBay. I just bought pretty much everything I needed from Adafruit in New York. High quality parts, fantastic support, great community, and uh, that always worked really well for me. Except now I'm on the other side of the planet and shipping's expensive and import duties and GST, and so I wind up trying to um, find what I need off the local market, which typically is a website called TradeMe. TradeMe is the New Zealand equivalent of eBay. And it's fantastic because it empowers sales across the country between individuals and businesses. Fantastic selection, but a lot of times it's just stuff from Shenzhen that uh, somebody locally has sourced. And uh, I want to be spending a little bit of time in this video uh, conducting a, a live experiment. I bought these, these dual battery adapters and they've been fantastic. I've used them in several projects. I used them in the Steampunk Chainsaw Blade, which I'll link to in the description of this video. But then I picked up some of these as well. Single battery, same vendor. Same vendor on TradeMe. I bought five. I've tested two of them. Two of them just haven't worked. Uh, one of them I damaged in the testing, so today you're only gonna see four of them, uh, but one of them is unwrapped. Three of them are still in the seal. So uh, this video is part documentation for the vendor about them not working. Maybe they'll all be dead. Maybe the rest of them will work and I'll be thrilled with that. I'll be really thrilled with that because I need them for a project right now. But uh, I will be unsealing these and testing them on a uh, unedited uh, section of this video. Uh, to see if they're if they're all failing, we'll see. Um, so, without further ado, let me get the testing area set up, and then I'll walk you through uh, our actors and our play for this testing scene. Okay, so we're all set up here on the workbench. Um, what we have is a set of four fully charged. 18650 batteries. We've got a uh, Seedwino uh, 4 Arduino clone that we are just using to generate load and to get a blinky light on so that we can test our power supplies. We've got a working uh, dual battery power supply that we will use to show that the Arduino is working properly. And then we will proceed to run through testing the open and unopened single battery um, uh, power supplies. 
So first off, we'll just grab two of our batteries here off the charger. We will drop these in. Very important to get the orientation correct. We hit the, the power button on the side and we get lights. This is a good sign. It's powering up. We plug it in. We plug the Seduino in to the USB port. The Seduino lights up. We have the power light here and we have blink light. Half a second on, half a second off. That's just the generic blink demo code out of uh, uh, the Arduino IDE. So we can see that this power supply is generating enough 5 volt power to run this Seduino. Fantastic, right? Okay. Same batteries. We'll set this off to the side. That works. Here we go. We've got our single battery 18650 shield. We have an on off switch here. We're going to flick it off before we put the battery in. We have an indicator of positive on this end, negative on this end. So we're going to make sure that our battery is aligned properly. Otherwise the magic smoke will come out. We don't want that. We're going to plug this in to the Seduino. We're going to turn it on. Let's flip the switch. I have flipped the switch to the on position and nothing is happening on the Seduino. Nothing whatsoever. Flick it off, flick it on, unplug the Seduino, plug it back in. Nothing. Now I wrote the uh, vendor about this and told them that they weren't working and they sent me this great video where one of their engineers turned it over and with a multimeter tested the two ground pins on the, uh, on the USB connector and showed that it was zero volt and then uh, put load on it and then tested the ground and five volt pins and showed that they had five volts. And um, okay, that's that's an interesting test methodology, but uh, the basic there there just was if I don't put uh, if I don't put load on it, it's not going to turn on. So that's the point of having this uh, Ceduino on here. But we have nothing. So now, in full view of the camera, I'm going to take this battery out. going to take one of these still in the static shield, static wrap, and cut it open. Well, we're going to flip the switch to off and take the same battery, battery that was working in the double shield. We're going to put it in. we we'll plug it into the See, do we know? We're going to flip the switch. We got nothing. Nothing again. We have load. We have load on this battery adapter. We have a fully charged battery in here. We have the orientation correct. We have positive towards the USB end. And we have nothing. Okay. So, you have now seen two fail. Let's pull out number three. Oh, I never noticed this. Let's see. Is this thing actually sealed in? There's tape on here. Okay, yeah, this is sealed in. This is different than the others. This is in a different static bag. Um, that might indicate that this is a different batch. So maybe we'll get a different result out of this one. Let's open this up. Okay, there is a, there's definitely a difference between the two. I don't know if you can see it here. The quality of the silk screening is different. Uh, the one that just came out of the larger packaging has whiter, thicker uh, silk screening. 
whiter, thicker silk, silk screening uh, on the front side too. So we're going to set up the one that's not working. We're going to switch it to the off position. We're going to put the battery in. Positive towards this end again. We're going to hook it up to the, uh, the Seedwino and we're going to turn it on. We have one success. One of them. Okay. So the one that came in the larger piece of uh, of static packaging does work. Excellent. Okay, let's turn it off. Let's see. We're going to set this one off to the side because this one is going to get used in a project for Kiwi Burn. So this one goes in our success pile. This is our failure pile. We have one last one to test. Open this up. Okay, this one again has the thinner uh, the thinner printing on it, so we'll see. Hopes are not high. Well, let's put the battery in. Oh, oh, sorry. Let's turn it off first. Let's put the battery in. Let's hook it up to the Seduino. Let's turn it on. Okay, failure again. So I bought five of these uh, from on uh, trade me and of the five I have one that works this is a little bit of a problem I need uh, I need a few for Kiwi burn I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube and I'm gonna send it to uh, and they can question my methodology all they want except this is an unedited piece of video um, unbroken you saw me open up the shrink wrap or the static wrap you see these just don't work. Uh, one out of five worked. <sighs> That's an 80% failure rate. And while, while I get that the cheap parts paradox, you know, I, 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 I bought what I could at the price that I could get it locally, um, the amount of time and effort wasted on this is just... <sighs> Yeah, now I've got to go back and see if I can get uh, replacements. Like I said, I, I bought five. One of them I've, I fried myself while I was testing. Um, I thought, okay, maybe the uh, maybe the silk screening's wrong, and I flipped the battery, and it went pop. And so that one, that's my, I have to eat the cost on that one. I chucked that one in my e-waste bin. Um, but of the, of the four that you've seen me test, uh, only one of them worked. So out of my batch, one worked. Next, uh, next episode, we will take a look at uh, Adafruit's LiPo charging and uh, Bucky Boost adapters, which I have had absolutely phenomenal success with. It's just they're damn expensive and damn hard to get a hold of here in New Zealand. Thank you very much. 